Well, I know I said I was going to work on my 54 next, but I'm just not really feeling it at the moment. It'll happen, but because I've built some other cars, I just don't, I don't know. That one will be on the burner till maybe later this summer, this fall. I think I just want to goof around with some stuff just for the heck of it. And not the plan to actually finish anything. But I have had this thing sitting here, and it's got a lot of the bits to it. I don't really know how far I'm going to go with it, but I do think I wouldn't mind playing with it and daddle with it a little bit. It's just a tall T. Um, I don't know, it's just sitting on this chassis. There's, there's a lot of weirdness to it, but we can fix it all up. Like It's got a... Uh, what is the diff? Like, I don't know, I set up for coils in the back, and it's just a typical hot rod chassis, I guess, kind of thing. I don't know. But I think we have a lot of the bits here to make... I don't know, potentially a kind of cool car. Just got a lot of stuff I don't really dig, but it does have disc brakes and all this stuff. So I'm not really a fan of these kind of front ends, like the suicide front ends. I like them slung under the cars, but I don't know. I've never had one, so maybe I'll try it. I don't like how far this thing stretched out for no reason. So that'll probably get shortened up. I'm not sure what I want to do for a mill. Part of me is feeling like I want to do a, um, a flathead. And I have that supercharger that I wanted to put on it. So we could probably do that setup with another manual or maybe get an adapter, put a T5 behind it. I don't know. There's a few options. We have that one. I could build another T. Again, just because I'm not going to finish it, I just don't know if I want to build it just to... I guess I could build it to flip. I don't know. I don't know. we got a bunch of things. That one, to me, just seems like the easiest to, to dazzle around a little bit with. Well, we got her in. The more I'm looking at this particular thing, the more there's just, I don't really dig this chassis. I don't know why. It's just a thing I got. Um, I don't know what it's made out of. It looks like an inch and a half by three, which is probably fine. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's some things like we got these ladder bar rear, which is fine, but it's got this pan hard that clearly does not work. Cause you can see, maybe you can't. But it clearly hits the sat chassis here. So I had bought a, a sedan and it came with this chassis. And well, whatever. Stuff doesn't work. I This is a good chassis. I just don't think I want it for this particular car. So I think I'm going to grab one of my tall tees. I'm going to stick it on here. And then maybe I'll just do a crazy chop on it. Because I don't know. Why not? I know. I have my chop pickup, but I have my tall tee, and then maybe we'll make a a chop version of that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna save this body for to make a clone of my tall tee. So I want to do uh, a chassis that follows under here, whatever it is, two three inches follows the perimeter of the the body goes up, and then we'll probably either run that rocket or a nail head in it. I think that'd be the idea. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, the ladder bar stuff, like that stuff I don't mind, but it's just, I don't know. It's going to sit high. I want it low. It's not this car. Uh, so, I think I am going to do one of the T's. Although a buddy of mine has a T too, which he did a bunch of work to it already. 
I'm on the fence. I'm super on the fence. But I know for sure that body isn't staying on there. So I will deal with that right away. We'll take that out. I will set that back outside. And I might grab one of my other bodies. Yeah, I think I will. I got There's a complete body out there that I bought. Yep. I think that's the plan now. Plan is a tall T. Well, it's going to be a chop T. <laughs> Running this chassis. I think because I'm going to fart with this a little bit, but this might just go down the road. I'm not a fan of a lot of the stuff on here. We'll probably just do a simple small block. You know, boring small block. Uh, probably an auto trans. T, whether it's tall T, chopped, I don't know. We don't know how far we're going to get with it. I just know I don't like where this motor sits. Because you can see, it was like it was supposed to sit way up. Well, no, they had it right here. Man, I just don't... These stretch front ends just don't do it for me. Even the suicide perch isn't really a thing for me, but... Hey, it's set up that way. I think it just has to shorten up like a foot. Then I think it would look right. Proportionally, it would look right. Hey, you. All right. I'm going to... Pull this out. Fire tractor up. I am going to bring that cab out. We'll stare at the chassis for a bit. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go pick a body. I got two bodies here that I could do. So that's what I'm on the fence with. So I have one that's just kind of meh, meh. So it'd be a perfect candidate just to butcher the crap out of it. Because there's this one. It's not bad, but it's got no rear section. It's kind of been all blown apart. I bought this one at an auction. So I don't feel bad butchering the snot out of this thing. And then I have the other one that I bought. And I used all the parts on my 37. So I have this one. You know what? It's pretty rotten too. It's got rot there, rot on the doors. Like a lot of rot right there. But it does have a trunk lid. It's got all the glass, but I'd be replacing it all anyways because this glass is the explodey type or the one that would cut your limbs to pieces. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm gonna use this one. Why not? I bought it. <laughs> I bought it, let's use it. Well, we got this body on, loosely mocked up. I didn't grab the good body because I was chatting with a buddy of mine and he kind of wanted that one. So we'll make a deal, do something with that. I have another buddy who did uh, a car, a T, that I was just going to buy from him. But I'm going to kind of mock this up with this body for now. He's got one where most of the body work and stuff's all been done on it. I think there's just the passenger door needs to be done. So... We might actually put it together and kind of paint it or do something, but for now, we're going to mock up with this thing. It's rough, just a little. I did buy it at auction for a fair price, so we got to hack some stuff out to get it down. We'll figure out roughly what we're doing. I'm uh, thinking of just channeling, but nothing crazy. I think just to cover the, the frame, because the frame just looks odd. I'd rather just whatever the body showing i guess if that's the right phrase <laughs> um anywho i well yeah i don't even know if i'm gonna mock i'm gonna have to cut this one up it'll need it on anything i do anyways but yeah whatever we'll get this placed up we'll get the small block kind of set up then we can figure out how much we're shortening this we're gonna kind of hack out what this feller did here we're gonna make some new new fish plates or something to go on there uh, basically that pin to me, with this front end, if it works, this should be back here, but somewhere in that vicinity looks right to me. If I was doing a truck or doing something, I think I would just slide the whole body ahead and then kind of make that work. I'm so undecided what a feller's doing. I have no truck boxes or anything, so that's not even an option, but we'll do another T though, just because I think they're cool. And then we'll just do just a plain Jane small block, nothing fancy. Uh, but this is about as far as we're going to do tonight. I don't feel like doing a whole lot more. 
and I'm going to jazz around with the frame and get the motor kind of mocked up for the weekend because then the other body's coming. But I want this body loosely on here so I can get a feel for tucking the motor in and stuff like that. Kind of like my other T, but I don't care. This one will be a little more stretched out. Just a lot of things I don't quite dig about it. But I'd like to build it. Ah, something to do. Really, it's what it is. I can't sit and watch TV or do nothing, so... This is what I do for my free time when I'm... This is fun to me. <laughs> I could be, call me a weirdo, but um, this motor stuff is no good. No bueno. But I do have the motor plate that was on this motor, so I'll probably run that on the next one. It was set up for this chassis. I think it's right here. So that'll be what is going to run on here, but we're going to move this up quite a bit and i should grab one of my rads and we'll see what we can do here like i bought that one of the swap meets so i'll mock that up see if we can actually use this is the wrong era of tea but hey if i can use it on here why not eh if it fits my rad shell so i'll grab it we'll see how much we can bring up this motor and stuff yeah, it's definitely too low, but you could definitely channel it a lot. I don't know if they make smaller radiators than that. Kind of funny. Yeah, it's just weird. Eh? That's that brass air, I think. just doesn't have the right uh, round whoop to it. I don't know if I actually have a, a Model T rad. I have Model A ones. There's one there. Another one right there. Those are all Model A's, so... Uh, it does not look like it. I think there's an Essex Model A. I don't know what the other two are. I don't know. That one's kind of weird. Kind of neat. I think I'm just going to use junk that I have lying around here, though, for this one. At least that makes sense to me. <laughs> oh, well. Okay. I've uh, boogered around and wasted enough time tonight. I will... Uh, I'll ponder on this tonight and... See what we do. I think the next plan of attack is going to be to, uh, uh, like, it doesn't matter what I build, I'd have to cut this out anyways. So I'm just going to gut a bunch of the back out of here so I can at least lay it on the chassis where it's supposed to. I think it's pretty close when the body was sitting on the axle. We'll find out. But then we can get into how much we got to shorten out the front here. I can probably, like I say, the body won't matter. But we'll be able to start placing the brake pedal. Um, just random stuff like that. Make our lives easier when the other body comes. And we can kind of quickly start smashing stuff together. I think this would actually be a really fast build. Yeah, because we got disc. We go there. Under the floor. Figure out a steering column. I do have a Corvair box I could use. That would be good for the push-pull. I have F1 boxes. I don't know. We've got lots of choices. <laughs> Maybe we do cowl steering. I've never done one of those. Although that would be a lot of work. You have to build like a big frame for it. All right. Enough babbling. We'll figure it out tomorrow. There was a set of springs with it. I put them in. Now the geometry, everything looks right, but holy Dinah, that thing's tall. <laughs> it's gotta be like a good foot plus underneath there. I guess maybe that was the look they're going for. Maybe it was supposed to be like a high boy or something. I don't want to do a heavy channel. Well, I guess I could. I'm definitely not running two speed. I'm gonna run a three speed auto. I have a motor that was in the Merc. So I don't know if it's a 305 or a 350. I'm not sure. But that's probably just garbage I have lying around. So I'm just going to throw it in here. We're going to try to keep this thing pretty pretty budget build. 
I'm just going to use junk that I have lying around, so I want to minimize the amount of stuff I have to buy. Some of the stuff, granted, is nice, like this chassis was, um, like, I don't know, it would cost somebody a lot of money for this stuff, but I got it with another car, sold that car to keep this for something. Mm, what it's going to be yet, I don't really know. <laughs> it's going to be a budget hot rod. I am going to buy the, a buddy of mine has his T. Essentially, I'll have a bunch of these, but his, like I said, did a lot of body work and stuff, and it's chopped. I think it needs more chop, but I think it'll actually end up being a fairly nice car when I'm done. That's, that's my take anyways, but I'm not sure I like this stance yet. We're going to see. I like my stuff really low. These hairpins don't seem right to me because they're coming at an up angle. They should be pretty parallel. We can change that. When we cut this off, we can move that down here. That should straighten this out. But that's also based on if I'm going to leave that thing kicked that high. It just seems pointless. Uh, but the trunks of these cars aren't really good for anything anyways. But we'll see. Uh, I'm going to go to the body now. I think the next step here is going to be starting to chop out the back. Even though this isn't the car that I'm using, I am going to chop these braces out. I'm not going to concern myself with this section yet. Uh, because I think I can mount the motor and transmission with this stuff in there. Uh, so it won't be I'm not totally destroying this thing for no reason, but I do because this brace here is toast So I'm gonna get these bits off everything up to this brace out of the way which should should make room for the kick and Hopefully this sits fairly level. I don't want to get into notching this yet if I have to I'll do it But I don't think I should Now the diff on here though looks like it's been apart So I don't know if I'm just gonna go grab one that I have like an S10 one and then pull this stuff off and reuse it. Cause this looks like it's set up for a shock through. So it would have a peg here. Your shock would mount below here and it would go through the works. This cover though, looks like it's been off forever. So it's not very, I took a look a long time ago. I think the last time I had it in the shop, I uh, opened this up. And it is very rusty in there. I don't know if it's something a feller wants to run or it's worth taking it apart. Maybe I'll take it apart, go through it. It is just open, but I don't know what it's got for gears or nothing. That definitely is pretty rusty. I guess if the bearings everything look good, we can kind of clean it up and kind of use it. Right? Is that what you think? Hmm? You just eat? Now you're uh, coming for pets. <laughs> Anyways, we'll have to deal with this. If this works with this height, I'll rock it. We'll have to just change this side of the pan hard because it's just got a clevis in there and that's that's not going to work. I mean, we've got the heim up there. That's okay. So we can stick another heim down there. But I don't like the zigzag of that bar. I'd rather everything stay parallel. Anywho, enough babbling. Let's... Uh, Let's cut some floors, right? Let's cut some floors and uh, set her back down on here and see if we can uh, see what she looks like. Then we can kind of start hacking up the front of the frame and kind of get the actual look of what this car will kind of look like.
We kind of loosely mocked a lot of junk up. I still have stuff left over. When I built my 37, my pickup, I had not this one, but that T. The first T I was thinking of actually using that came with a lot of those parts. And amongst those parts was this Corvair box, which is kind of cool, but I don't know. It makes sense on here. Well, eventually it will. Not right now, but because that'll kind of jive with this. I have this underfloor pedal assembly that, I don't know, that's with the power booster, which is kind of small. I guess it's kind of cool. I don't know, it's not my thing. Normally I'd run manual brakes. Hi, Pablo. Hi, Pablo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of talking, eh? I'm in the middle of talking. So that's not normally something I would use, but me, yeah, it's kind of perfect for this car. Um, this rad I picked up at the swap meet will actually work really well. I uh, I just have it like loosely just sitting there. This funky T shell that I think came with this body or one of the bodies, I think it'll work out if I kind of do a little bit of a filler. It would kind of be nice. So we can kind of do that system, do this. You can see how much I feel this needs to get shortened up. Uh, normally, I'd probably cut this firewall, flip it, then I can get it that much more tighter. It's kind of something I like doing. I do have to base this motor, though, on the fact that I have no more pulleys or anything for these short water pumps. So I'm going to have to base this on the longer uh, water pump and stuff. So there might still be some distance in there, right? Might still be some distance. <laughs> And then in the back, we're kind of seeing if we can clean this diff up. I don't like this kick, but everything's here. It's working. I think I'm going to just stick with it. Uh, we'll have to see how the other body is. I'm kind of going to mock up some stuff and deal with the other body. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one ahead. I don't know how much I'm going to commit to this one yet. Only because this Z, I guess I could leave on the outside, but I think... <laughs> hey buddy i'm trying to explain things hey i'm trying to explain stuff i might want to actually hide the z under the cowl and kind of make that into my floorboard right i might want to make it into my floorboard section so from the inside uh you don't see it but i can see where the floor kind of tapers here i might actually hide the z into there and then when we look at here, like my body mounts, uh, whoever built this chassis kind of built it where everything was probably, I guess, going to sit on top of it, other than this rear section, because I think he had a weird brace going across and it mounted on those mounts. So I'm going to change that up, but for the most part, I think a lot of this junk will work. In my eyes, it should be fine. And we have, whatever, we got a few bits. We'll have to figure out a steering column, but we'll do old school something into there. Uh, do that. So this thing will work. Although that master looks like it's a disc disc setup, but I could be wrong. But I think, uh, 
I think this is where I'm going to leave this one. I'll have to figure out most of the mounts, but if the other car still has most of the floor, there might be a small hump going into it, but I think a lot of this is just going to make sense. Uh, we can kind of loosely base it on there, but I guess next round at this is uh, we're going to have to shorten up that front of the frame. Uh, we could probably reuse a bunch of the back of it. That's provided this thing's not completely hammered. I don't think so. I think if we pull the axles out, this stuff will be good. We can rebuild the brakes. It'll be fine. Uh, we'll do a basic steering call. Um, man, from this angle, that box just doesn't look like it's going to jive too well. I don't know about that. I guess enough wobble joints will always fix everything, but... Hey, Pablo. I told you I'm trying to explain stuff to people. Hey, can you go sit down for a little bit? I'm trying to show people stuff. <laughs> You're being very needy tonight. Yes, you are. Um, I feel like the box should go over more, but I don't know. I've never used one of these, so I couldn't tell you for sure. It's kind of junk that I just got with something. I guess in the end, the big picture is I'm going to try to build this thing with just garbage that I have lying around. For the most part, I mean, some of it's new, but I just got it with a deal. So I don't know if I personally would go out and buy one, but maybe I would. Maybe this will work really good and I can just justify actually spending the money on that. But for now, I just got it. So I'm going to use this stuff. Anyways, I think... In the end of this, I uh, I think that's what I'm going to call this one. Uh, until the next round, when I guess the idea is going to be to shorten this up and get things a little bit buttoned up. Not 100%, because again, this is not the body that I'm going to use. But uh, yeah, for now, I want to uh, thank you folks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one when, I don't know, we'll do some exciting stuff with this thing right sound like a plan <laughs> all right i want to thank you folks for watching we'll catch you on the next one later